Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam forbade urinating into standing water. What is standing water? It means what? That it's not Yes, it's not running. It's not running water. Yes. Per, yes. Not running water. So why he for forbade to urinate in the standing water? Total water will impede. Total water will be Najis. And even if it's a big pond, even if it's a big pond, and this Najasa will not affect the whole pond, <coughs> but one after another, yes, yes. it will make it Najis and it will let people to be disgusting to yes. drink or to. Yes. So it's haram. You cannot urinate in the standing water. But if it's running water, like the sea or big river, that's different. That is different situation, okay? In another words of the hadith, an Abi Huraira radiallahu anhu, that the Prophet sallallahu said, لا يبولن أحدكم في الماء الدائم ثم يغتسل منه The Prophet sallallahu said, none of you should urinate into standing water and then wash himself with it. <laughs> and then take a shower from the same place. <laughs> so this is of course doesn't make, doesn't make sense. So look how Rasulullah used to teach very detailed things. Very detailed. Our deen is perfect. You cannot never find this in any other religion. Impossible. Right? Yes. Impossible. That's the perfect message. Preserved by Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Rasulullah may Allah reward him. Al Maqam al Mahmoud, say Amin. Because he conveyed everything for us. He taught us everything that we need in this dunya. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let us to have deep knowledge about the Sunnah of the Prophet. Alhamdulillah.